problem that I can't see through As long as it's just me and you My crazy little bee so Today I am beekeeping in a retro swimsuit What do you think? The bee safe aisle Safety aisle today So I'm going to try working in this space The hives back here um, don't have any bees in them. Those are my dead hives from the winter. So I am going to Just see how it works before I get everything really like calm. Start with crazy. I'm wondering if that's the issue is that I save crazy for last And then crazy knows that something's going on and is on guard So I'm gonna try starting with crazy. I don't think of done that before. Okay, so I've smoked the front. Maybe I'll smoke the back too. Where did I put my hive tool? Oh, I got it. And by the way, I found my hive tool. So crazy is still, whoops. Crazily producing brood in the inner cover, which I've now just destroyed. They finished their syrup bag. You can see the inner cover there. Scraping this comb off, they shouldn't be building, but I think I need to split this hive. And what I was thinking actually is splitting this hive into my flow hive because the flow hive you don't have to open to access, and I think that would be. Plan. Totally gonna get stung, you feel it. Okay, so I've scraped off that comb. It's been bugging me for a while. And I'm just gonna peek inside for a minute to see what's what. Um, they've really consumed a lot of syrup that I left out and I believe the nectar flow's going. I mean, the whole lawn is dandelions right now. So we should be good. Oh yeah, they're busy. So some things just dawn on you, you know? So I'm worried about crazy, but I think what I'll do is they're super um, productive. They made 120 pounds of honey last summer. So I'm going to split that hive into my flow hive. That way I don't have to deal with them. But I need to wait until I see some queen cells and I'm going to dig through that later. Uh, maybe in a week. I'm supposed to get some nice weather. So I'm going to let them, I'm going to put a regular inner cover on not the deep and I just want to make sure they have enough resources and I still need to check and treat for mites and but I think that that's a good plan I'm gonna peek in the other hives but mainly I just want to do a full inspection on dopey hive Oh, 
Anyways, I have my queen cage with me. Okay, so they still have a lot of syrup going on in here. So we'll leave that for them. They're still sipping away at it. They're doing pretty good. I don't know, I can tell from here the outside frames still don't have any nectar or resources in them. Nice pollen pants, girls. So that hive's looking pretty good. I'm going to get you guys to help me rename my queens and number my hives once I get all that going. When we see the temperament of the queens and the, the colony itself, I'll get your input on their names. So they still have tons of syrup left in there. I think I like this workspace. Um, I think I need a little bucket or something to sit on. This one's way too low. <laughs> yeah, I'll get a bucket to sit on. I haven't even really touched the pollen. Starting to fill it. It's looking good over here. They're starting to collect. There's tons of eggs in there. So that's really good. Oh yeah. So there's tons of eggs and larvae in here. So I know that there's a queen. I'm gonna stop um, looking. I just need evidence of her right now. I don't need her. <laughs> I just need her presence. So I'll just give you a little peek inside and you can see what's happening. I think I'm just going to put this um, dopey hive back together. There's lots of eggs and larvae, so that's a good sign. Um, they're just really low on resources. Someone mentioned in a comment that maybe they were being robbed. And I think you might be right. Because like it's all poked in, all the capped stuff. So I'm kind of thinking maybe they're being robbed too because they're, they were a late split last summer from my original hive that died. Um, so they're just not, they weren't going into the fall as strong as I would have liked. Watch out girls, I'm coming in. I'm lining up, there's um, some comb on top that I'm lining up here to make sure I have them back together, right? It's like a puzzle. Wow, 
are drinking this to the last drop. Look at that. Whoa, they've eaten their whole pollen patty. It's a little left over here. Watch out, Beb. Beb, watch out. Beb. Oh, this is heavy. Nice. There's a drone already. Yeah, you're doing a good job. I don't know if you can see the little bee butts. Nice work, girls. Yeah, so they're doing really good. I see all their frames are full. They're not capped, but they're really working with what they got. Good job, girlfriends. Put the lid from my other hive on. Okay, so I think I'm like in this space here. Um, I'll get a taller bucket, but I'm able to sit like if I were a little more elevated and work on a hive. And this, this actually was helpful because when I was taking the lids off of these, I was able to put them onto the top of the hive behind me. So I think it's going to work out pretty good. And I can fit in here, like this way. Uh-oh, a bee landed on me. So I can fit in here this way pretty comfortably. And I think I can still push these hives forward a smidge. Uh, so I think it's gonna work out pretty well. Just wanted to show you, like this is just an old cat litter bin. Special kitty. I'm gonna get a bigger one. But what I put in here, it makes a good seat. I need a taller one. But I have all my stuff to start my smoker in there. So it matches the lighter. I have wood shavings. I normally have newspaper. I have some cardboard. There's tons of dry leaves in here that I use. So whatever you throw in there, if the flame's too high, I just rip a clump of grass out and chuck that in there and put it on top. Kind of acts like a filter for the heat and stuff. So I'm gonna get a bigger pail. And maybe in the other pail I'll put um, like my hive tools and other things like that. We also have bins out in the BR normally with our suits and everything we need. Like uh, watertight bins so that when we come out here if there's a swarm or something crazy um, we can just run out here and deal with it. So I, I scraped off all that comb. I'm just going to clean it up actually because it might attract the critters so i'm just gonna get rid of it i'll just use oh, are these in here i'll just use one of my old syrup bags that i've thrown out anyway Pretty nice comb, like sometimes I'll start a jar, which I might do. I have a mason jar out here. I might actually. Mm, there's eggs and larvae in there. It's kind of gross. But I'll have a mason jar, and when I scrape off the burr comb on top of the hive, or if there's any like overbuilt chunks, then I'll put it in a mason jar and I'll melt it down later when I when I process my wax. Sorry girls. Oh, 
poor babies. They need more room for sure.